congratulations on getting your certified kingdom advisor certification. That was a ton of work and a ton of time. And I just have to say that all of us at Alpha Omega Wealth are incredibly proud of you. Um, we know the labor of love that earning that was uh, for you. And I was wondering if you could tell us why you wanted it. Yeah. So I, I know that everyone around me has watched my hair turn black to white, literally, <laughs> literally overnight or, or <laughs> more specifically over the past nine months, because I started the class last October. And um, I, I became aware of the organization called Kingdom Advisors several years ago, and I didn't really pay a lot of attention to what they were doing. I kind of knew, generally speaking, what they stood for. They're, they're standing for um, helping professionals, supporting professionals, setting up a community of credentialed financial professionals, including CPAs, attorneys, um, life and investment specialists, uh, chartered financial consultants, et cetera. People who are who have tenure in the business. It's not for people who just got in the business. You've got to be 10 years in the business and have a, an existing designation, such as a chartered financial consultant or a CPA, mm -hmm. in order to even qualify to get the designation. You could take the course. Anybody could take the course. So uh, the course was killer. Um, I've never been so challenged to, to think about my own values, uh, which are already founded on the word of God, on the Bible, for the, for the financial principles that we operate from. Uh, but the, the course was, was intense. It probably required mm, six or eight hours a week uh, for 20 weeks. And then, and then um, had, to pass, had to pass all those different components, do case studies every week and then take a final exam, which was 100 multiple choice questions and a, a pretty substantial uh, case study essay. Now, after I passed all that, then I found out that they had to do an additional background check to see if my record was clean enough to qualify me to receive the credential. And it was only after all that was, was accomplished that I got my notice a couple of weeks ago that said, congratulations, uh, you're being awarded your certified kingdom advisor. And I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about that for, for, for a number of reasons. Number one, I, I think my clients know that, um, that I'm a, a man of faith, I'm a Christian, I, I follow a set of, of values that are laid out in the Bible. Now, mm -hmm. you could look at the Bible and say, well, um, does it really say a lot about money? Well, it says more about money. It says more about money than it talks about heaven or hell or salvation or grace or anything else. And uh, come to find out there's just under 2,300 verses in the Bible that have, have to do with finance, economics, stewardship, managing your money, saving for the future, giving. And, and we find out maybe because, not, be, not, not, not although, because the Bible is thousands of years old, it contains these truths that we call timeless principles. Mm -hmm. And one thing about principles is that they don't change. Right? Principles are true. They're always true. They're true in, in every environment, in every set of circumstances. And they're not going to change. So timeless principles can be can be um, accessed, and then we apply them to a situation. Now, the reason why I wanted to have the certified kingdom advisor is to let my clients know, after all these decades in the business, that I am serious about providing the best and most accurate and and greatest set of wisdom that I could find. It's not just my opinion that I give to people when they ask me for help with their finances, whether it's their business, their own person, or or, or their family legacy. And so um, I wanted to let our clients know that I'm serious about, about representing and, and implementing, helping them implement the principles. And then beyond that, there's a community of about 2,000 certified kingdom advisors who have been meeting 
and doing continuing education because continuing education is an additional part of the credential. You have to maintain an extra 10 hours of CE every single year to keep your, your credential uh, intact and, and valid. So um, there, there's a community, there's, there's following a set of principles that, that are timeless, that are, that are proven. I mean, here's one, um, the rich rules over the poor. I mean, who's going to argue? The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is servant to the lender. So when you when you borrow money, um, you have a, um, a subjugated position to a superior who's lent you money. You're you're borrowing money with their permission, and they have to a certain extent rights to know how you're conducting your business, whether you can make your payments, making sure you pay on time, the borrower is serving to the lender. I mean, what position do we want to be in? Well, I certainly don't want to be in the position of being a borrower, right? How do we implement those things in our lives? How do we teach it to our kids? How do we implement it in our business? So, so take that truth and 2,300 more of those truths and, and we assemble them into a course, into, into a course of study, into a philosophy, into a culture, into a community. And that's what I'm relying on to help uh, people manage their finances and, and also see how their finances can integrate with their faith, with their, with their values. Mm -hmm. So there is the Certified Kingdom Advisor. And uh, I believe our clients are going to benefit because of it. And um, it's allowing me to be held to a certain standard of accountability and professionalism. And it doesn't make any difference how long you are in the business. You can't rest on your laurels. As a professional advisor, um, as, as a person working for a living, we, we can't assume, right? So all we can do is base our lives on, on the, the highest and best truth that we can avail ourselves. And in my case, um, it's the Bible, the Word of God, and that's how we we package it all up. So uh, I look forward to helping my clients uh, based on uh, what we're learning and, and we'll continue to learn. So thanks for that. Thanks for the question. I'm glad I got to, to talk about that. Uh, and that allowed me to announce uh, to our clients that I've uh, that I've received this this honor of receiving the credential. Uh, it's probably not one that's as popular or, right. or noticed as somebody who who has their CPA or or some other professional designation or or um, or degree, uh, but it is very important for somebody in our field. So right, appreciate and that question. Watching you go through that course for the last nine months, there have been you are a very attentive, involved business owner and leader and. We love it, but there there were times. Hey, Joe, there were times. Not now, I'm studying. Yeah, it was sometimes when there you was did not too much coffee. This class. It was I can't talk to you coffee. right now. I'm studying. Yep, too much coffee, not enough rest. Right. A little bit, a little bit of intensity uh, went and, along uh, with, with that course. And, and uh, when you got that certification, the email you sent out to everybody in all caps, praise the Lord, we did it. It's just so exciting. I love yeah. it for you. It was I'm a blessing. To see what God does with it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. Good. Appreciate it. Yep.